I've been playing it a ton on this CRT. It's been perfect for quarantine. The Nintendo 64 is a console that people either love to love or love to hate. Now, this is probably because of the console wars from back in the day, but it's 2020 now, so how is this console holding up to everything around us? How is it can holding up to retro consoles? How is it holding up to modern consoles? How is it holding up in general? How are the prices? How is everything going with it? So in this video, I'm going to talk about a few of those things. Now I'm going to talk about the games, I'm going to talk about the console, and maybe uh, if you stick around to the end, I'll tell you about a controller I've been using that I absolutely love. It's not sponsored, but it's an awesome controller. Also, um, I just want to say that I've been playing the 64 for a, a lot lately. I've been doing a bunch of TikTok videos um, involving specific games for the, the con console. So if you have a TikTok and you want to see that, go check that out. Um, if you don't, no worries. It's just a little extra fun stuff that I do. Um, but in between these videos for YouTube. So if you like that or you want to see kind of more of how I'm fun, I try to be funny in that, oh, check that out if you're interested. Also, if you want to become a member, that's a new thing that I've been working on. Um, if you go ahead and become a member, you do get early access to videos. Uh, usually it's between a day and two days beforehand. So if you're interested, check that out. There's a button, you can find it on my page. But Back to the console, this is the Nintendo 64 and it is a ton of fun and I absolutely love this console. Now, first off, the controller everyone loves to hate because it's that tri-wing controller that just doesn't feel good and it's very weird. Mine has fallen onto the ground, so we're gonna grab this. This is the controller that come with the system or came with the system, I guess, and it's just weird. Do you hold it like this? Do you hold it like this? Some people hold it, I don't, I don't understand this. I don't know how Nintendo got to this point, and I'm just questioning it. So, this might be the only bad thing that I see on the system, at least in this video. There's probably other bad things, but um, this is how I'm gonna leave it. Um, but there's a good thing about that. If you know, if you've seen this channel or you follow retro video games, or, the community or any of that you might know of the retro fighters brawler 64 controller now this is the controller i alluded to earlier and yes i wanted to talk about this because it's a ton of fun it basically takes the 64 controller turns it into a modern controller um, if you're interested in this down below there's a link on amazon it's a pretty awesome controller if you ever see me playing the 64 this is what i'm using it with so that's that. Um, the only questionable thing that I've noticed some people are having issues with is the RAM slot on the front of the 64. I've seen a few people recently, I saw, uh, I wanna say like uh, Spawnwave said something about his, um, he bought one that was broken on eBay or something and it just didn't have the RAM extension, which I thought was hilarious. Um, but I've seen other people like posting on Twitter or like Reddit being like, Hey, I got this. I don't know how, why it's not working. And then they show a picture and it, I don't know if it's a joke or not. Um, but there is a RAM cartridge pack that goes on top. So check that out. If you don't know anything about that, that might be confusing and would be really confusing if you didn't have one and you couldn't get your system to work. Okay, so we're, we're done with the issues, we're done with um, the controller. Let's talk about the games, because games are what makes consoles either good or bad. So back behind me, you can see I got uh, two stacks here. Um, I wanna talk about these. These are games that I have in my collection that I grabbed from the shelves that I thought, okay, these are games that if you have a Nintendo 64, these are the games you're gonna be wanting to play. And uh, some of them I left out, some are still back there. I didn't wanna include everything, but I feel like this is what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14 games. I feel like that's probably pretty good. If you're looking to get the Nintendo 64 in 2020, this is probably a really good list. So I'm gonna grab this stack right here. We're just gonna go over it. Um, Yoshi's Story. This is an awesome, cute platformer. Obviously, it has Yoshi in it, and it, it's just a ton of fun. So if you haven't played this game, you definitely should. 
Um, what I'm going to try to do is kind of throw up just a few seconds of gameplay for each one of these videos. So Yoshi's um, story is a ton of fun and you definitely should pick it up. Now next is one if you have ever heard of Zelda, you've ever heard of Nintendo, you've probably heard of this game, Ocarina of Time. It's one of the best ones, uh, I guess, on the system. It's an awesome Zelda game. Yes, there's Majora's Mask as well, but I left that on the shelf. This came first, so this took preference, uh, at least for this video. So this is an awesome game. If you like Zelda, you definitely haven't played this game, you definitely need to. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. I mean, what can I say? It's a Tony Hawk game. If you haven't played a Tony Hawk game, it's a skate game where you get on a skateboard, you do tricks, you do challenges, you try to get to certain places, and all around, it's a ton of fun. And this, I think, is my favorite game on the 64, at least from the Tony Hawk's Pro Series. series. And uh, they remade this game recently, so it tells you it's at least good for something. It's really, actually, a really awesome game. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Uh, this is where it started. This is the very first Super Smash Bros. If you uh, say that Melee is your favorite, you should have at least played this once. I mean, Melee is a great game, but this is where it all started with. I'm not saying that Melee is not the best. I'm not going to specify what's the best, but Smash Brothers is a ton of fun. You just basically smash people. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. If you get good at this game, it's a ton of fun pissing off your friends. It's a great multiplayer, to be honest. If you like Paper Mario games, you definitely have to pick up Paper Mario on the Nintendo 64. This game is so amazing and it's so much fun. I love the look of this game. Every time I talk about this game, it definitely has to do with the look, the feel, everything about it. It's just a ton of fun. And absolutely, if you have a Nintendo 64, I suggest you get this. And I feel like a lot of people don't talk about this game anymore, but you definitely need to pick this up. Um, yet again, another great multiplayer, Mario Party, uh, I mean, what can I say? If you've played Mario Party, you know exactly what I mean. They've, this is such a prolific game, they have over 10 of them, or maybe it's only 10. I don't remember, but there are a ton of Mario Party games, and this is so much fun, especially when you're pissing off your friends. This is a great multiplayer to do that with. It's just a ton of great mini games and a ton of fun. And then following that up, is Mario Kart 64. Now this is obviously the fake cartridge that I have, but it is actually the real game inside, so I kept this because I think it's hilarious. Um, someone went to the effort to put it on a black cartridge and put a label on it, and I'm assuming that's a back label that was on whatever game cartridge this was for, but I think this is funny. They probably thought, oh, I'm gonna get, the, get this over on someone. Maybe they did it because they broke the cartridge and uh, they still wanted to play the 64 uh, Mario Kart game, but whatever it is, this is a ton of fun, and I absolutely love this game. It's a ton of fun to piss off your friends as well. So if you're looking for a multiplayer for that, that is what that's for. So moving on, let's go ahead and move to the second stack. Now I'm trying my best to kind of run through this pretty quickly because no one wants to just sit here and listen to me talk about the same games, um, but whatever, let's keep rolling. Kirby's, uh, uh, the Crystal Shards, I wanted to say Epic Yarn for whatever reason, but I knew that wasn't right. So, Kirby, the Crystal Shards, amazing Kirby game. If you love cute Kirby games, this is one that you definitely have to get for your collection. It's just so much fun and totally awesome, and it looks great. So, literally, you gotta pick it up. Next, Doom 64. If you are a fan of Doom at all, whether it's the old style Dooms or the new ones, I think you need to play this one. This one's a fun one, and I think it's just a fun way to reminisce on the past. Now, it's not the oldest one, it's not gonna give you those really super retro graphics, but it will get you those retro graphics and be maybe a little bit more modern than what um, those very first ones are, but I, I love this game, it's a ton of fun. Back to this, Donkey Kong 64. Now, let's be honest here, this was my very first Nintendo 64 game because I got the Donkey Kong Jungle Green Nintendo 64 bundle when I was a kid and so this was a game that I held near and dear because I played it a ton and it was my first game and let me tell you it's a ton of fun and it's just so much fun. I love this game and honestly if you haven't played it you definitely should. Definitely well worth picking up. So I talked about Mario Kart earlier now it's time to talk about Diddy Kong Racing. Now people like to compare the two 
Some say this is better. I prefer Mario Kart, but let's be honest here. These are both amazing games and totally well worth it. So if you are looking for an awesome kart game, but maybe you don't want to spend the money to get Mario Kart, pick up Diddy Kong Racing. It's totally well worth it. Now um, we're getting down to some of the games that everyone loves to talk about. Goldeneye. Literally, Goldeneye. I know this isn't the best of copies, but whatever, that's fine. It doesn't even have the back sticker. But Goldeneye is a ton of fun. Recently, I played it on my TikTok, and I, I like it. I mean, honestly, going back and playing this game, it's still a ton of fun, and I understand why this game is, I want to say overrated, but at the same time, it's not overrated. It's just hyped up that much. So this is a game, if you're looking for a decently cheap game on the Nintendo 64, that's still a ton of fun. GoldenEye is definitely well worth it for you. Next, Pokemon Snap. Obviously, I love this game. It's so much fun. They're even remastering or remaking it on the Nintendo Switch. I'm not 100% sure which it is, but we're getting a Pokemon Snap on the Nintendo Switch. I'm super stoked for it. I recently played this on TikTok, and it is just so much fun. Pokemon Snap is basically an on-rail shooter where you take pictures of Pokemon, and Professor Oak rates you on that. That's about the, the gist of the game. It's a ton of fun. Kids can play it, adults can play it, it doesn't matter, you will enjoy it and it's definitely well worth it. And last but not least, you're probably waiting on this one, Super Mario 64. I'm not going to say too much about it, uh, just because it's been talked about like 100 million times. It, it's a great game. Pick it up. If you have a Nintendo 64, you probably have this game. Whatever. This is a great game. Pick it up if you don't have it. Okay, so that was all the games that I suggest that you pick up on the Nintendo 64. Now, yes, there are other games, there are other things that you could get for this, but I think if you grab those 14 games, you're gonna be set. You're gonna be happy, you're gonna have a wide range of games. Now, I didn't include like any wrestling games or any sports games, but if you're interested in that, there are those that are awesome on this system as well. So what do I think? How do I think about the Nintendo 64 in 2020? 100% worth it. For me, I've been playing it a ton on this CRT. It's been perfect for quarantine. Come in here uh, 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, four hours. However long I come in here to play a video game, if it's on the 64, it's totally worth it and totally is a ton of fun. The prices seem to be coming down a little bit on games and the consoles. Um, thank you um, to recent decline, I guess, and interest. Maybe people have moved on to the GameCube or whatever. That's a whole different conversation. But the prices have come down, so I think if you are wanting a 64, I definitely think 2020 right now is worth your money. So go check it out. Go pick it up if you're interested. I want to say, um, if you like this video, comment down below. Let me know what games did I leave out. What games did you like from the, the list that I gave you? I want to know what you think about it. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you know when I post more videos, which is every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And one more time, thank you so much for watching and make sure you have a good day.